Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, astronaut Scott Kelly to retire from NASA, the Air Force is short of fighter pilots, French report on the German wing's crash is issued. I'm Brie Krause, it's March 16th, 2016, and this is Airborne Unlimited. NASA astronaut and one-year crew member Scott Kelly will retire from the agency effective April 1st. Kelly joined the astronaut corps in 1996, and with 520 days in space accumulated over four missions, he currently holds the American record for most time spent in space. After retiring, Kelly will continue to participate in the ongoing research related to his one-year mission. He will provide periodic medical samples and support other testing in much the same way that his twin brother, former astronaut Mark Kelly, made himself available for NASA's twin study during his brother's mission. Kelly said in part, quote, I am humbled and excited by new opportunities for me to support and share the amazing work NASA is doing to help us travel farther into the solar system and work with the next generation of science and technology leaders. We've been hearing about the shortage of airline pilots, but that's not the only place where more pilots are needed. The U.S. Air Force is about 500 pilots below what it considers a minimum number of fighter pilots, a number that is expected to grow to about 800 by 2020, according to Air Force officials. Defense News reports the official said the shortage was caused by a recent reduction in active duty fighter and fighter training squadrons resulting from budget cuts, according to written testimony presented to a Senate Armed Services Subcommittee last week. The squadrons that do remain do not provide enough experienced fighter pilots to meet Air Force requirements, officials said. The statement said, quote, Without these fighter pilots, the Air Force will be very challenged to continue to provide the air supremacy upon which all our other forces depend. It's reported that bonuses are being offered to retain pilots, and those that leave the Air Force are being urged to remain current in reserve and National Guard units. After the break, French report on German Wings crash highlights mental health issues. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. The French BEA, which is similar in function to the US NTSB, has released its final report on the crash of a German Wings A320 in the French Alps with 144 passengers and six crew members on board. While the report covers many issues, one of the issues addressed is the mental health of co-pilot Andreas Lubwitz, and the report indicates that Lubwitz had been issued a first-class medical certificate in April 2008, but it was not reissued in early April 2009 because of his depression and the medication he was taking to treat that condition. But a conditional medical certificate was reissued later that month. His license at the time of the accident had a limitation calling for specific regular medical examinations, which required an air medical examiner to, quote, contact the license issuing authority before proceeding with a medical evaluation relating to any extension or renewal of the medical certificate. However, the report found he had not been examined by a psychiatrist or psychologist during his regular medical certificate renewals after the waiver was granted in July 2009. With some 2000 Aero TV programs webcast to cyberspace, sometimes it can be fun to look back and enjoy some of the places we've seen, the flyers we've met, and the planes we've flown. Here's a look at one of our favorite Aero TV classic episodes. Both very high-end models, G3X equipped. In addition to that, we also brought the P92 Sea Sky to the show and also the Echo Classic Light for the people who are looking for the economy end of the market, around about $75,000. When you think about general aviation aircraft, Beach, Piper, and Cessna always seem to pop into mind. 
However, there's another GA juggernaut out there, and their name is Technam. In this video, ANN's Jim Campbell finds out more about their product line. Search the Technam Juggernaut on Aero TV's news channel. After these messages, Emirates Airlines wants an improved A380 from Airbus. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Airbus recently said that it would not commit to an upgrade of its A380 Super Jumbo Jet. This led Emirates Airlines President Tim Clark to criticize Airbus for its decision, saying that the company should develop an A380neo. The FAA has issued an STC to Flightstar Corporation for the installation of their ADS-B out solution in the Learjet 40 and 45 series aircraft. Flightstar says the STC provides an alternate solution for GPS position source compliancy for these aircraft. Meridian Jet Center celebrates its 20th anniversary at Teterboro Airport in New Jersey. Today they have 21 employees, two hangars with up to 60,000 square feet of space, and a plan to build a larger hangar soon. The UK Air Accidents Investigation Branch has released a report from an accident from last April in which airshow pilot David Jenkins was fatally injured. They found the pilot was suffering from a serious undiagnosed heart condition, which could have affected his performance. United Launch Alliance has awarded x Aerospace with a new contract through the Air Force to develop an upper stage propulsion system for Vulcan ULA's next generation launch system. x 2,500 pound thrust 8H21 engine is being developed for this purpose. Well that's the trip around the patch, now let's move on to the rest of the news. A passenger on board an EasyJet flight getting ready to depart from Geneva, Switzerland to Copenhagen, Denmark, looked out the window of the plane and noticed something wrong. There was a wrench lodged in one of the wing flaps of the airplane. The passenger alerted the crew of the flight and it returned to the gate so that the tool could be removed, according to the UK newspaper The Sun. The potential concerns are obvious. The tool could have caused the flaps to become jammed upon flap protraction after takeoff or the wrench could have dislodged from the aircraft and become a hazard for other aircraft using the runway. But as it was, the tool was removed and the plane departed for Copenhagen about an hour behind schedule. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.